Dr. Shander, I'm going to turn to you to introduce our Accent on Academics for the evening. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. George, board members. For this evening's Accent on Academics, we'll have a presentation from Mount Vernon Elementary. Mount Vernon Elementary offers students in fifth grade an opportunity to participate in the STEAM Club. This club partners with community volunteers and engineers to offer students enrichment in science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Recently, members of the STEAM wind turbine team participated and were awarded second place in the Kid Wind competition in Virginia Beach. Tonight, members of the STEAM team will share more about their club and highlight a few of their projects. To share more about this presentation and introduce the students and other presenters, it's Ms. Mary Lugo, principal from Mount Vernon. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, school board members, and Dr. Shandor. Thank you for giving the Mount Vernon team an opportunity to participate in Accent on Academics this evening. I am honored to be here with our STEAM club sponsor, fifth grade teacher, and our division elementary teacher of the year, Mrs. Tracy Buckley, along with 15 of our student representatives. I am also excited to share that the presentation this evening was developed, scripted, and we will be presented entirely by our students this evening. They do have a couple of extra guests that they will be adults they will be calling up. I would like to introduce our students at this time so that they can get in position for the presentation. At the podium and running the Prezi, we will have Jarek Kenzik and Josh Way. Speaking about our paper chair project will be Mallory Buckley, Jacoby Melton, and Lena Shandor. Speaking about the planner box project, we have Jack Bunting, Matthew Andrews, and Hugh Ellingsworth. And teaching you all about our wind turbine project will be Melanie Bertolet, Alice Fong, Kate Feist, Emma Chung, Shannon Myatt, and our TAB Middle School volunteers, Daniel Taminger and Jakob Kold. At this time, I would like to welcome Mrs. Buckley to the podium to tell you a little bit about our STEAM Club. Good evening. I'm Tracy Buckley, fifth grade teacher at Mount Vernon. Uh, thank you for allowing us time to share a few of our projects with you this evening. Our main focus is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Students are presented with a project and a few parameters. They're encouraged to share and research ideas, work together, compromise, and make their projects aesthetically pleasing. Some projects don't work according to their design, and some work extremely well. In the end, they have to work through complications, team disagreements, and under a very strict timeline. Each year, they continue to amaze me with their hard work and creativity. However, this all began because of one student that I taught four years ago. Daniel Taminger was a quiet, hardworking young man. It didn't take long for me to see that he had a creative imagination and a gift for engineering. I gave him various enrichment projects to work on throughout the year, and he continued to amaze me. I spent the summer thinking about all of the other Daniels that needed outlets for their creative ideas. Over the last three years, we have worked on numerous projects, such as water filtration systems, newspaper chairs, wind turbines, and last year, we even designed a greenhouse out of clear CD cases. This STEAM began, uh, since STEAM began, Daniel has walked over from Tab Middle School every year to volunteer. He works with students and helps them to solve their problems. I could not do this without him, and he's a constant reminder to me of why I began this club in the first place. At this time, I would like to turn it over to the students and middle school volunteers so that they can present their projects to you along with the help of our parent volunteer and our outreach liaison. Thank you. Our assignment was to make a paper chair using only newspaper and masking tape that had to hold Mrs. Buckley's weight. We were given an unlimited amount of um, newspaper and only one roll of masking tape. The, ch the chair had to be at least 12 inches off the ground. <coughs> we rolled newspaper and made the legs extra thick so that they wouldn't fall and crumble. The seat was woven together and we added support underneath so that it wouldn't sag too much. We decided to add braces between the legs to give it extra support all the way around. After we tested it out, we had Mrs. Buckley try it and it was strong enough to hold her too. 
<laughs> Another rule is that we are not allowed to ask Mrs. Buckley her weight. <laughs> <laughs> One of our other projects involves working with wood. This group will briefly explain how the project went. In the planter box project, we were split into small groups and given specific measurements from a set of plans to measure and cut. Parent volunteers used their miter saws to cut each piece. Once the wood was cut, we had to label each piece and send them to the sanding and staining areas. The labeled pieces were then collected and each person took turns assembling them according to the plans. We ran into a problem with the side panels because their wood was about 16th of an inch too wide. Those fractions added up and the boards were overlapping. We had to figure out how to make, add a small liver, sliver of wood to all the side panels to extend it just enough to make everything fit. The two assembled planner boxes will be auctioned off at our spring exhibition of student work night, and we raised $185 for future STEAM projects. We would like to thank Mr. Ellingsworth for volunteering every week to help us be successful. We are going to turn it over to him to say a few words. I'd like to start by saying how impressed I was with all the students. Uh, they had a real attention to detail and a desire to learn something new. Uh, as you heard, not everything went smoothly, but they didn't let the little bumps in the road uh, stop them. They were quick to come up with solutions and uh, fix them pretty quick. It made it a real joy to work with them, and I hope they had as much fun as I did. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank Mrs. Buckley and Mrs. Lugo for having this opportunity available to the students that want to take advantage of it. Thank you. Our main engineering project was to learn about an alternate renewable energy source. We researched and designed blades for wind turbines and competed with schools in the Virginia Beach area. We begin by working in groups and researching how wind turbines work and get inspired in order to design our own blades. We drew designs and then used items purchased through Kidwin, like balsa wood and cardboard, but we could use any material that we find is lightweight and has low friction. Once we cut our blades according to our design, we attached them to the hub and connected it to our gearbox. The gearbox is connected to a generator and fits into a stand made out of PVC pipe. Last year, I made a... Um, wind tunnel that meets the specifications of the kid wind wind tunnel. This year we were able to purchase a LabQuest device because of money donated by the Society of American Military Engineers that calculates our potential and current energy. We were able to figure out our energy output a lot easier with this equipment. <laughs> That data helps us to determine if we needed to change the pitch of our blades to reduce friction as we tried to improve our energy output. We recorded our data and took the best blade design from the girls team and the boys team to compete within March. Our data was displayed for the judges on the presentation boards. Our teams competed in a middle school division which is fourth through eighth grade. With eight other teams this year, the competition is based on performance, overall design, and documentation. The boys team got a teamwork award, and the girls team placed second place, along with getting a judge's award. They were invited to compete in nationals in New Orleans this May. Both teams did much better this year than they ever have before, producing between 20 and 24 joules of energy. At this time, we would like to recognize the Society of American Military Engineers with their generous donation and volunteers that came to help us with our wind turbines. Mr. Jason Dodge and Colonel Jennifer, Jennifer Kilborn could not be here tonight, so I'd like to turn it over to, to Mrs. Rocco to speak on behalf of Sami. Good evening. Sami is a nonprofit professional engineer association headquartered in Alexandria, Virginia with chapters worldwide. 
our local post is called the Virginia Peninsula Post. And our post brings together those in architectural, engineering, and construction related fields to improve and increase the engineering capabilities of the nation and to exchange and advance the knowledge of engineering and construction technologies. And one of the ways we do this locally is by supporting our local communities through mentoring and volunteer opportunities. Um, and as they explained that we actually were able to provide a couple of volunteers and we were so excited to provide funds to help Mount Vernon Elementary um, Steam Club purchase um, some of the equipment for their wind turbine competition. And we're so proud of what this local Steam Club has accomplished. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We will be happy to answer a few questions at this time. <laughs> I have a question. How many of you think you might want to be engineers in the future? Wow. All right. And and how many of you how many of you thought that before you did these projects? <laughs> <laughs> So did anybody change their mind and decide to be an engineer because of this project? Yeah, Shannon? Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, it, it's incredible. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. I, can you get some of the wind tunnels, can you turn some of those fans on? <laughs> can you really? <laughs> they aren't plugged in? Okay, well, they are plugged in? Hold on, Stephanie. <laughs> Coming backwards, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. okay. That's great. We're gonna we're gonna put one to work here. <laughs> Dr. George, you want to go hold the red and black wire when they turn these <laughs> on? <laughs> you know, they sure. talked about the challenges with the with the wood and how you overcame that problem. If you had to say what was the easiest thing about your different projects and what was the hardest thing, pick one thing that was easiest about your project and one thing that was the hardest about your project. Pass the mic down. If anybody <laughs> has. Um, the easiest thing about our paper chair project was that we had the unlimited newspaper but we realized that there was a problem with the tape because we only had one roll, so we had to use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs> and that was early on. You figured out yeah. you had to use it wisely or halfway through. <laughs> I think the easiest thing was probably figuring out how we wanted our chair to be. Hmm. But the hardest thing was probably putting it together and working together and agreeing on how it would be put together. Okay. So that's pretty good. You guys learned how to work as a team and work together. Well, Dr. George, I had the unique opportunity to be at Mount Vernon Elementary School one day, and, and I got grabbed in the hallway and yanked into a room that I was so happy to, um, to go into because to see, first of all, the stuff that y'all had in the room. It was kind of like I could go in there and spend hours having I can imagine the fun y'all had to use all the resources and the stuff you had that had been gathered up to do the project with the wind tunnel and the turbines. And but the teacher, Ms. Buckley, kind of walked me through different things and and just had that opportunity to really understand really what this project was all about and to know what you were learning with doing the fun stuff. I mean, something other than sitting in that chair, you know, staring at the you know the whiteboard or the video projection screen or something. So answer this question. Did you, by being able to get on your hands and knees and use your hands and work on things and take apart things and put things together and create what you did, did you learn more? <laughs> Their hands are shaking, yes. <laughs> did you have fun learning more? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that's what school's all about, isn't it? 
smile. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Have fun and learn a lot, right? <laughs> you all did a wonderful yes, job. Yes, you did. I Fantastic. Love that, uh, this project had so many students working together and students from elementary and middle school and the community helping you. And uh, I also love that it's not just STEM. It's STEAM with the steam. art inside it, too. Mm-hmm. So I love that. You guys did uh, an awesome job. And fantastic public speakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They can go home and see yourselves on TV. <laughs> <laughs> great, great job. Thank you. Thank you.